want to go behind and see how we transfer them all from their holdings to the exhibits? Of course I do. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go do that. <laughs> all, right. all right, welcome back. Thank you. So, um, what is this area? Why am I wearing a mask? Yeah, <laughs> so this is the rotational system of islands, mammals, exhibits. So, mm -hmm. Um, it has three different sections, essentially. So what you're looking at over here on this side is all of the holding stalls. So you'll have primate section, then tiger section, then hoofstock section. And behind us on this side is all of the exhibits. So all of the holding stalls lead to all of the exhibits and we can move them through the transfer chute, through the steps or through overheads, or we could even open up all of the exhibits and move them through all of that if we wanted to. So there's no really routine as to where the animals go and when they go every day. Um, and since we work with um, COVID sensitive animals, um, like the cats and the primates, um, we're just asking that you wear a mask because you're not back here all the time um, to kind of keep it as safe as we possibly can for them. So um, I don't have to wear one right now because I'm not around um, a susceptible animal. Um, but if I were to be in front of the orangutans or the tigers, um, and training or working in front of them or preparing their food, then that's when I would wear and one. And I'm wearing one because uh, we, you haven't started tours yes, yet. Yes, we haven't started uh, true behind the scenes tours yet. So we're doing kind of a, so a little I'm a little snippet teaser today. Tester. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the tester. Okay, so let's, let's take a look and sure. show me some stuff. All right, so this is the transfer shoot. Um, Islands was the very first rotational exhibit in the world. Um, and so this is not typical of a uh, of a zoo setup necessarily so sometimes what you'll have is just the holding uh, area and then the exhibit but these guys have to walk through the transfer chute like mm -hmm. you can see here mm -hmm. there will be overheads that they may be able to go to or have access throughout the day or like you can see at this end or at this end right here there are stairwells that the animals will have to go down um, so if we want to move an animal from all the way down there, so say like a taper, they will have to come through their holding stall into the transfer chute, up and down the steps, wow. and all the way down into whatever exhibit we're going to put them in. The way that we do that is through what a lot of zoos do, is that operant conditioning, which is the positive reinforcement based training. If it takes them a week to learn the chute system and the new exhibits, or a year to learn, that's 100% okay. And we might use different methods on how to train them through the shoot. So with our male taper chip, he was like, steps, no problem. I got this. You guys will give me something good at the end of it. Sarah was like, mm -mm. no, ma'am, I'm not going to do those steps. So what we did with Sarah is you'll see in the back in a minute, they have pool stalls and we would float peanuts and apples and things back there so she can search for that. And she's really used to the pool stall. And then we flooded a stairwell. Mm -hmm. We covered the drain, flooded it, put peanuts and apples and stuff in there to get her comfortable in that stairwell. And soon she got to using those steps like it was no big deal. Mm -hmm. So, and then we added a step behavior after that. We have lots of different ways to work with these guys and work with the animals because even the same species might not get something the same way. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, let's go check it out. Sure. You, we were heading down to a different room, but I noticed something here that kind of caught my eye because I was thinking immediately, Oh, can't you get confused mm -hmm. when you're shifting the animals? Is there a potential for making a mistake, right? And then I was looking at what's going on with these. these. Yeah, so we try to be as safe as we can. And even through the time frame that I've been here, we've made some changes to kind of help with that. But one of the things we started out with is each wheel door has a number that corresponds to a shift door behind you. Mm -hmm. So this wheel door number six will open up stall door number six and it even has animals on the wheels to make sure that you're recognizing which section you're in too mm. so the tiger is on this one or the apes are on that one or a taper is on these wheel doors mm. and then we always have two people moving um and and working the animals through, through the chute so there's one trainer that's up front at this mesh with the animals mm -hmm. and then there's one person at the wheel door and the trainer will be in control of the whole situation you can open this door you can close this door you can unlock but not open mm -hmm. or um there's a lot of communication happening mm -hmm. so um the, the next place we're heading is indoors yes we're gonna okay. go to our hoofstock um, so hoofstock okay mm -hmm. so uh 
I, I like to pretend like I'm, you know, perfectly fine out here in my t-shirt, um, <laughs> but I am absolutely freezing. So we're going to go inside now. I, I was trying to be tough, but yeah. I'm cold. So let's go ahead and go inside. Hey, I put a jacket on. Yes. <laughs> okay, so who is this in front of us here? So this is Chip. He is our male Malayan taper. We have two tapers um, or tapir, depending on how you say it. Uh, down here in the islands exhibit and they're inside today because all of these guys are rainforest animals so they typically do best when the temperature outside is over 50 and it's snowing outside today so um, snow is not their favorite weather so they're going to be inside today and right now he's just is in the pool stall but he's also got access to his uh, bigger stall over here with some shavings and then they also have access to a holding pen um, that we share between the hoofstuck animals. So uh, our Babarusa has it right now, but Chip could have it at any time. And then we also have a female taper, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Malayan tapers are the biggest species of tapers. So Chip weighs usually between 680 to 700 pounds. Well. Sarah weighs 700 to about 720 pounds. Oh, yeah, so she's that, typically bigger. Yes, she is bigger. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Well, she's cute and adorable. <laughs> so we got the babarusas back here. And we do the, have babarusas. The, the, the tigers well. on the other side over there. Yes. So the building is a is a straight line, but like we talked about outside, it has different sections. So we're in our hoofstock section right now. But just because Chip is in this stall with access over here right now, and Albus is over here, that doesn't mean that's where he's at all the time. He can go anywhere in this section and the tigers can go anywhere in their section and the primates anywhere in their section. And I, I'm seeing in here like each, like where the animals are right now, they have these little tags here. They do, yes. So with these, like you can move these mm -hmm. wherever they go the with animals the are. That's yes. cool. So they go stall so to stall or if they're on exhibit. They go so even back exhibit. here, not just on exhibit, even back here, they can be a different stall yes. on a different day. Yep. I love yep, that. It's it, really it, cool. The, the beauty of, one of the beauties of this area is that the routine is that there's no routine. <laughs> so that they don't develop stereotypical behaviors. They don't start to assume when you're going to feed or move them. Uh, and it creates a, a much more natural mm -hmm. behavior. That's for natural the enrichment. That's, yes, that's natural, exactly. natural enrichment. Yeah. It's a different look yeah. on the day. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have a taper in here. And the next day, you can have a tiger in there yes. smelling the tapers, yes. natural smells and pee spots and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Yep. I love that. That's really yes. cool. Uh, well, thank you so much for, for showing me this little glimpse yeah. of the, one of the of unique, course. most unique exhibit styles I've seen at a zoo. That's really cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming. Awesome.